The whole idea behind it was that I should show works I made the last four or five years. We started with one with the dogs who are attacking a chair. Then we have the table turning. It's normally a double screen projection. Now I only show it very small as a single screen projection. And then uh, the work, the trophy, uh, also the title of the exhibition. And that's the recent work I made in 2010, last year. And that's in a way the main work. And then I show even an older work. I thought it was interesting to put that one in the show because it's also dealing with this domesticity. It's also again a kind of bizarre meeting between nature and culture. At that time I was very uh, occupied with the idea like that we take a lot of things for granted, that we think that we are sure about certain things, but that they are not so sure. I was very interested, especially in that time, when you change certain things in daily living spaces, in my direct environment, I just add or, or manipulate certain things. Um, the, how will the viewer look at it? And that work is the first work I did in that context. When you make a film with animals, it's, it's much more complex normally. When dogs are attacking something, the hierarchy between them has to be clear. I had to find three dogs who really could attack together the chair. I found this uh, German Shepherd forum and I asked like, can someone help me out? Uh, I want to have like a film where there is a chair standing in a space and three dogs have to attack this chair and this chair has to disappear on the end. And I just yeah, made an announcement like, can someone help me out? And then finally a guy react on the, on my email and he said like come over no problem with uh, plenty of chairs and uh, we just do some test shooting for me it was also very important that the animals were treated very well and um, it's very challenging absolutely with the trophy I was really like thinking like here it would be really nice to have the sound because the animal is just not moving at all but he's breathing for sure and then to have like a very good uh, sound recording from that breathing. I did that also, but then finally I decided I leave it out. It's, uh, yeah. And then yeah, the sound what you have now is of course from the projectors.